Hey, we're the Grazianos. I'm Rosa. That's my brother Rico. And this is our mom, Angela. Hi, happy holiday. <laughs> we have a show on Hungry called Rosa and Rico on a Roll. We have our leftovers from Thanksgiving dinner last night. Our family has a huge, huge Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner. dinner. We I have an so. Italian one, an American one, a Sicilian one. We do them all. So you have tons of leftovers on Thanksgiving. The one thing that we do great is create recipes from our leftovers. And today we're going to be doing our potato croquettes. Here we have riced potatoes. The best thing to do is to have your potatoes be chilled, not warm, because it's gonna change your consistency on the potato. It's gonna be hard to handle when you're making your potato croquette. We're gonna add two eggs, and then the yolk of one. A little salt, a little okay. pepper. A little more pepper. Yeah? No, 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 too hot. We're gonna have some parmigiano reggiano. We're gonna probably do half. Put it in everything. Everything? Yes. Oh, Angie's saying everything. Flavor, 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 flavor. 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 <laughs> so then what you're gonna do is mix, mix. I'm one of those that like to cook with my hands and my mom's gonna yell at me, but that's what I'm gonna do. So you wanna be able to handle your potato. Handle your potato. Handle your potato. So that's your base. Basically, the thing that's so great about a potato croquette, you can put anything inside. So whatever you have left over in the fridge, pull out of the fridge and let's see what we can make. We have broccoli rab, which is a typical Italian dish. Turkey, ham, as well as sauteed mushrooms. We got a little bit of everything. We're starting with our potato. Right, good. We're, I'm just right now, like like as if I was making a meatball. Just squish it down, right, Ma? Yes. Is there a set size? Because are you just going by your hand size? I don't know, whatever that size is. What kind okay. of question is that? I can't ask a question. Well, what you don't want to make them huge. Squish it down, add broccoli dab, which was from last night. Or you could probably add any other vegetable you have left over. Fry potato. French fry. Put French fries. French fry. Yes. I love it. We're going to put French fry French inside the, the potato croquette. <laughs> Oh. We're gonna fill it with the scamozza cheese, which Rico's gonna tell you about. Tamara oh my God, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. The scamozza cheese, it's left in a salt brine for like four days and then it's hung on the string for like four or five days afterwards before you could sell it. It's used a lot for cooking because it's low moisture. It's just like mozzarella, but it's got a yellow curd in it. Some people, they don't like mozzarella. They put the egg pepper parmesan, they put the scamozza in. Because it's a low moisture cheese. It's, yes. It We're gonna is. put a little of scamozza cheese inside and it's gonna melt great. Am I doing this right? Yes, I'm so gonna get in trouble. Very gentle. Very gentle, guys. Do it, um, do it, do it. So what you're gonna Very do gentle. is like, form Like a log. Like, like a log. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> they're sticking to my hands. What am I supposed to do? Put a little olive oil on your hand, that's it. Pack it together, pack it together. Don't be afraid. What is? Listen. Good. Are you the greatest? You to help you a little bit? Yeah, show her how to do it, Ma. Okay. Show her what happened. No, she did a good job. Let's make note that this is my slamming potato croquette because this one thinks she's gonna show me up. The next one we're gonna be making is the meat one. Why don't you tell us what you're gonna be putting in the meat one, big brother? Well, we have uh, diced ham, leftovers from the other day. Give that to mommy. Okay, give that to your mother. Thank you, mama. And then we have uh, the turkey, leftover from Thanksgiving. Take the skin off, get like two slices, then we're gonna dice it up. Dice it up. We have a lot of leftover turkey because we have 17 dishes before this comes to the table. It's literally a showpiece at our house. We carve it, we feel all special, and then, and then we're nobody like, let's try it. the stuffing. Let me give her some of a little bit more scarmuts for, for the ham one. And then let's get Go some ahead. turkey in there. Just you give her a couple turkey pieces. You ham at the same time. Yeah, oh, just a couple pieces. Ham, no, it's turkey. not. What's so great cheese? is you could put anything inside the potato croquettes. So you have tons of leftovers on Thanksgiving. Be creative. Put the cheese. We have ham. Go nuts. Put ham. Don't worry. Put a little bit of everything. Don't overstuff them because they'll break. Let's start frying. Everything you cook a deep of Fried ball is gotta be very, very, very hot. Potato croquette they call a panzarotti. <laughs> the panzarotti is a traditional street yes. food item. Right. If you right. go to Italy and you go to the festivals, there's right. a festival every day of the week where they're walking with a saint. It's a and different down, saint thing every day. Every day. And with, you could get like a piece of paper that they roll into a cone and you can get fried zeppole, it's fried arancini, and you can get this fried potato croquettes. While you're walking around the festivals, you're eating them and then their saint is passing by and people are attaching I'm money own. to the I'm saint. It's, oh, it's, yes. It's a religious experience is what we're doing, okay? 350 for frying. Let them fry for a little on one side. I, just wait until they're golden brown and then we're gonna flip them over. Frying up panzerotti. Croquette di patate. Croquette di patate. Croquette di patate. Croquette di patate. This is big. That's big. These are croquette. really potato. These are Americanized. <laughs> like a family. Like our family. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. They're golden brown. Make sure they're even throughout. Give it a second to let it just set. 
um, don't serve too soon because then they're just going to fall apart and to be way too hot. Feel free if you want to add some marinara, dip into the marinara, go you crazy. Just dump it on Use your one leftovers. One. Use your leftovers. No, don't, don't, no. Don't, don't. get out of here. We're family. Here. You go. here. Yeah. Here's your one. He? He's a vegetarian one. <laughs> that was probably mine. Ooh, 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 what's this one? This is the turkey. You see that scumots? Gorgeous. And there's my brother. Just always <laughs> has to ruin a good thing. There's some marinara in there, Rick. I'm doing it this way. Mm. Oh my god. I mean, it's amazing. Okay, don't be shy. Oh, like Play this. around with whatever you have. The ultimate test. Good? Thoughts? Perfect. Delicious. Happy holiday from our family here at Hungary to everybody back at home. Make sure you subscribe and check out our recipe below. Happy holiday and buona festa. Ciao a tutti, Ciao buon appetito. Tutti. Ciao, grazie. Buon appetito.